Justin Trudeau doesn't want to say anything about China because he says to say anything about China is racist. While a lot of people around the world are concerned about Chinese colonization. They are buying up huge tracts of countries in Africa, Southeast Asia, Canadian North are there as well, taking it over. Peter Gundy is a Canadian entrepreneur. He did business in China for 18 years. He joins me right now because I want to ask you, like, what's going on? I remember one person saying, well, Chinese and Confucian, we're very peaceful. And you see their military parades, they're anything but peaceful, and they're going into countries and taking over. Are we going to be taken over by the Chinese Communist Party? Let's call it the Chinese Civilization Party, because it's not very communist. That's the first thing. Uh, the, the Chinese Civilization doesn't have a record of going outside of China and taking over uh, mass, they're taking over other countries, invading other countries. Right. But they have, in recent years, started acquiring farmland in Africa. They, Mines. They, they've been interested in farmland in Canada. Uh, and they've been interested in companies like the company that, that I founded, or one of the companies I founded, or was one of the founders of, the Potash Corporation of Saskatchewan. Um, it has a unique position in, in mineral resources. Now, the question is, in my mind, is to look at it and understand what the motives of the Chinese are. The difficult. Great. What are they? Well, the, well, the diff well to, ex to, to, to exercise, well, they have a food problem. Right, they have a lot of mountains. And they, have, they, they need, need resources. So well, from the point of view it. of potash and, and from the point of view of food, it's a good idea to get out and do something. The problem is for countries is that it's the, it, it may be a company that comes in, but most companies that are strong are state-owned companies. So you're dealing with the government. So I think it's completely wrong that we allow them to come in and buy farmland and buy our principal co corporations and put them into the hands of, of, uh, of, of state corporations. Should because our government I, be stronger? Back... Should they be stronger and say, listen, we're glad to sell you the product. We aren't going to sell you yeah. the means to create that product. Well, they did block the potash uh, acquisition. Uh, so, so some of the governments, because the provincial governments well, that was ages, have blocked. ages ago, though. Well, they, but there is a, we do have an investment Canada uh, program that that that, that it's does, very weak. Uh, well, we have also we also have uh, provincial governments that that don't allow foreigners to buy land. So does Canada have to be more vigilant against the Chinese takeover of Canadian business? Well, it's not because they're Chinese. It's no. because it's a government. You don't want governments taking over your your resources or your enterprises, because they make different decisions than we do in terms of how those organizations are run. And that's the nub of it. Peter Gunty, thank you very much. Three minutes. Our Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, recently stood up in the House of Commons and prefaced his remarks by saying, and we will only work from the facts, quote, unquote, and then proceeded to lie by saying Britain was in a horrible, horrible third wave, trying to show, in fact, that Canada was not the worst in the world. Britain, though, had vaccines. Canada did not. And this was not reported in the mainstream Canadian media, the media paid for by Justin Trudeau. All of which I'm telling you is that it's important to have this three minute interview. Please subscribe, ask your friends to subscribe, and press that PayPal thing so we can continue on to bring you the news you otherwise might not know.